Hello friends, this video on conjunction part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now do a couple of exercises just to ensure we have understood well. So we have to identify the conjunction and tell if it is a coordinating or subordinating conjunction. He will get the award if he deserves it. So in this case, the conjunction is if because it is connecting the two sentences, he will get the award he deserves it right so if is the conjunction now here if is showing indicating a condition that he will get the award if he deserves it so it is a condition therefore it is a subordinating conjunction because it shows a condition here let's look at the next example bob ran lest he should be killed bob ran Lest is a word that is used to indicate, I mean, it, it, it means something like otherwise. Right? So, Bob ran lest he should be killed. So, it shows the purpose why Bob ran. Right? So, lest is the conjunction in this case and this is again a subordinating conjunction because it indicates a purpose. Why Bob ran? Third example, he is taller than I am. So here, than shows comparison. So comparison that again comes under subordinating conjunction. The fourth example, is that story true or false? So this is a question. And in the question, when we say, is that story true or false? So we are trying to ask for options, true or false. The word or gives us alternative. And that is why it is a coordinating conjunction. And what type of coordinative conjunction? Alternative coordinating conjunction. Let's look at the next one. He deserved to succeed for he worked hard. Now here the word for gives a reasoning. Right? It, it shows that why he deserved to succeed for he worked hard. So this is again a coordinating conjunction which type of coordinating conjunction elative for example i knew the phone i knew someone called for the phone ran right so why did i knew that someone called because the phone ran let's look at the next one i shall go whether you come or not so here again it is an alternative whether you come or not so there are two options whether you come and you do not come so since here we are talking about options again so it is a coordinating conjunction and it is an alternative type of coordinating conjunction now let's try to fill in the blanks using conjunctions now Always remember that conjunctions play a very critical role. If you place them incorrectly, then the meaning of the sentence would change completely. So think twice before fill, filling in the blanks. Wait dash I return. That means you should wait till the time I return. So here we can write wait till I return. So this is an example of subordinating conjunction. Because here you know you are putting a condition that until the time I come, you should wait. Take a lamp, dash, the night is dark. Take a lamp. Now, why are we suggesting you to take a lamp? Because the night is dark. So, you can put as. So, as shows a reason in this case. So, this is also an example of subordinating conjunction. So, wherever we use as, because to express reasons, they are examples of subordinating conjunction. Let's look at the next one. I shall not go, dash, I am invited. I shall not go, I shall not go, unless I am invited. Now, please understand this. Let's say that you thought that it could be as as well, like I shall not go as I am invited. But that doesn't, it make it meaningful. So if I am invited, I should go, right? So why will I say that I shall not go as I am invited? Since I am invited, so I will not go. So that doesn't make sense. 
okay if you say i shall not go if i am invited even that does even though that is grammatically correct but that doesn't make sense that if you invite me i will not go right so meaningfully and logically it should be i shall not go unless i am invited until and unless you invite me i am not going to come that means i will come only if i am invited live well dash you may die well so if you live well you may die well so live well so that you may die well so this is again an example of subordinating conjunction because here we are trying to show the consequence that if you live well what would be the consequence the consequence would be you may die well he is very rich dash he is not happy so he is very rich so that show that is a that has a positive meaning that he is rich he is not happy that is that has a negative meaning so both of these are contradicting that is why we will put but he is very rich but he is not happy man proposes dash god disposes so man proposes god disposes so again man does one thing god does another thing so again these are contradictory therefore we will put but man proposes but god disposes please write dash i dictate so you are giving an order that you have to write the way i dictate so you would say please write as i dictate so the way i dictate you have to write accordingly so this is also an example of subordinating conjunction because we are kind of giving a reason not not exactly reason but you can say uh, we are putting a condition like uh, you have to write the way i dictate he must have passed this way dash there is no other road so now let's suppose that these two guys are discussing about some other guy that he must have passed this way because there is no other road so instead of because you can also use as he must have passed this way as there is no other road we all know dash sin and sorrow go together so we all know that sin and sorrow go together i know you better dash he does so i know you so let's say that this guy is telling that i know you better than he does let's say some, some other person so comparison again so we use than so generally whenever we try to compare two things we use than right so now for especially for these kind of sentences always remember that there is another sentence which confuses a lot like if you say i know you better than him so you see both of these sentences have different meaning when i say i know you better than he does that means i know you better than he knows you right but when i say i know you better than him that means i know you better than i know him so you understand the difference in the meaning of these two sentences so hereafter whenever you talk in english please remember this meaning and difference okay so let's do the next exercise join the sentences by means of a conjunction so you are given two sentences you have joined them to make one we decided to set out it was late so we decided to set out though it was late or you can say we decided to set out but it was late so both are correct but both of them have a different meaning so when we say we decided to set out but it was late that means that we decided to set out but it was late so we didn't go out and if you say we decided to set out though it was late that means that even though it was late but we still decided that we'll go out my brother was not there my sister was not there right so one way of joining them is my brother and my sister were not there another way of joining them is neither my brother nor my sister was there the third example you must be quiet you must leave the room you must be quiet so when when you make noise in the classroom the normal then what does your teacher say 
teacher normally says that you have two options either you be quiet or you leave the room so you must be quiet or you must leave the room i will bring your umbrella you wish it i will bring your umbrella if you wish it we went early to the circus we could not get a seat so if you look at the first sentence it shows a positive uh, meaning like we went early to the circus but the second sentence we could not get get a seat has a negative meaning so that means when we go early to the circus we expect that we will get a seat but in this case we did not get a seat that means these two sentences are contradictory to each other so we will join them by using but we went early to the circus but we could not get a seat in case we wanted to say that we went early to the circus and we got a seat so in that case we could have joined it with and but since in this case we did not get a seat therefore we put but so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on conjunction and i hope that you would have understood what exactly is a conjunction how is it different from a pronoun or an adverb and how exactly you use conjunction in different sentences now please try to make use of these lessons not only in improving your written english but also to improve your spoken english so every time you try to speak in english think twice frame the sentence well before you actually start speaking and once you get you once you get used to it you will end up speaking grammatically correct english so i hope that you found this lesson useful so we will see you very soon with a new lesson with a new topic and if you liked the video please do not forget to share it with your friends too Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.